the PDIC. I'm with Cor Co, the CEO of Sitka Gold Corp. Cor, thank you so much for joining us today. Give our viewers a brief introduction to Sitka. I don't think we've talked to you before. Well, Sitka is a newly listed company on the CSE. Um, it was listed about a year ago, and uh, it's got about 20 million shares out. We control around 35% of that. Um, it's got a team of experienced uh, management, uh, geologists and accountants and lawyers, and, and um, we've got uh, previous successes in the mineral exploration uh, industry. So, uh, very tightly held company, new, and aggressively looking at copper, gold, and silver properties. Let's talk about some of the uh, the highlights of your property portfolio. Now, I want to start with Burrow Creek. That was newly acquired just a few months ago. What is it, how does that fit within your portfolio and what type of work are you going to be doing on it this year? Well, Burrow Creek is exciting because it has a historical resource of gold and silver. And uh, the last work done on it um, in 2013 uh, by a previous uh, company, um, they did some geochem survey over the uh, area to the south of the known deposit and ended up identifying an extension of that mineralization for about a kilometer and a half. And this is, uh, indicates that that vein is under shallow cover there and uh, uh, just uh, gives us a big target to expand that resource on. And so for 2019, we want to we follow up on that and, and drill that, uh, basically put 50 drill holes into that kilometer and a half and see if we can upgrade that resource as well as confirming the historical uh, nature of it. And I do just want to mention an, uh, your other couple of projects. Um, you've got the Alpha Gold Mine in Nevada and the Copper Mine River in, uh, in Nunavut. So give us just a brief introduction to those as well. Okay, well the Alpha Gold Project in Nevada, this is a really exciting project for us. It's right in the Carlin District and uh, it's, it's a structural interpretation of the intersection of the Cortez trend, which hosts over 50 million ounces of gold, and the Garden Valley anticline, um, where these two intersect, uh, it creates a preparation that could host a Carlin-type deposit, and uh, the interpretation there from the geologist is that uh, this is, uh, the, the carbonates that host these deposits is preserved uh, at a minimum of depth. So we want to test that and see if indeed we, we might have an elephant sitting there. The copper mining project is up in Nunavut, uh, close to the Arctic, and with the opening of the Northwest Passage has, has put this area on the map as far as uh, having a shipping route that previously didn't exist. Uh, it's a huge copper belt up there that um, we've just uh, discovered a sediment hosted copper showing that runs about 13%. We've done a little bit of gravity uh, geophysics on it and uh, it looks like there's something there at depth. We want to do some more geophysics this year um, to uh, see what size that is and, uh, and move forward with uh, developing that. Cor, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, introduce us to Sitka Gold and we'll be watching the story uh, with interest. So appreciate it very much. Thank you.